I've been thinking a lot about money lately. I've been thinking a lot about money lately. And I've been thinking a lot about money mostly because I felt like during my come up, during my adolescence, during the times where I was trying to figure stuff out, I wasn't focused on money. I was more focused on being cool and having a cool job and doing cool things. But as I'm sure some of you guys know, having a cool job <laughs> rarely means you have a lot of money. Rarely, me rarely even means you make a lot of money. But you might have a cool lifestyle. You might do interesting things. You might save a lot of money if you have a cool job sometimes, especially if you work in fashion. If you have a cool job and you work in fashion, more than likely you can get clothes for free. You might be able to get clothes on a discount. If you, you might be able to get clothes at, at like, um, what's your thing called? At like a stock, I forgot what the level's called. There's a particular rate that you get through showrooms or what through stores pay. So if you work, if you work for like a brand or a, a marketing agency, you might be able to get clothes on cost. That's it, cost value. So you can get designer clothes for like 70, you know, 70% 70 off of the fucking retail value, which is crazy. But you don't earn a lot of money. And you also might be surrounded by people who you look up to, which is kind of cool which is kind of a nice feeling to be talking to people that know all the references that you know, that watch the same things that you watch, that are into the same things that you're into. That can be quite nice. But at a certain point, you start to wonder to yourself, should I have actually focused on getting more money? And I'm starting to think that. I might have on paper, I might have had a cool job. I might have had a cool job on paper. I might have cool jobs in the future. But one thing I don't think I've ever had is a job that gave me a really, really nice salary. It was always like enough to get by, but the other perks of the job were more important. The perks like maybe every season, I got to go to fashion week every year. I got to travel at least four times on the company card per year. Um, I got to attend cool events. I got to go to special screenings. I got stuff for free bloody blah, 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 blah. I was in certain rooms where I probably didn't have any right to be in. All these sort of things were sort of a way to sort of like make up for the lack of money that I was making. But now that I'm older, now that I'm older and now that I'm wiser, I'm starting to think to myself, maybe that was the wrong approach. Maybe that was the wrong approach. And the reason why I think about this a lot is because I was checking out this thread on Red Scare. On the Red Scare subreddit, I was checking out this thread that really resonated with me because it said the following. It's wild how different life is for people in high paying positions. The post is as follows. I didn't realize it until after I graduated and started working for a while. When you're a kid, you can't know that someone who makes 120K per year has a drastically different life than somebody making 50K. It's hard to imagine. Those are just figures. Then you get older and realize that people making six figures have so many more opportunities and freedoms than you, admit, than you understood why homework was a big deal for some. Exactly. And that's the biggest thing. I think for some whatever reason, I don't know what, maybe it's a youth thing. Maybe it's a boy brain thing. Maybe it's an ape brain thing. Maybe it's a black thing. But whenever I thought of like making money, the only thing that came into my head was like buying things. That was like the marker of like how much money you had, like what things could you afford to buy. But now that I've gotten older, I've realized that the actual marker of like how much money you have and the good, the, the, you know, the, the level of job you have in general isn't really to do with that. It's more to do with, it's more to do with the things you get to do with that money. As in travel, right? Eat in certain places, living in certain places, where your kids go to school, all of these things are inherently way more interesting and important and everything else in between than the actual, than the actual amount of money you're making. Or the, or, sorry, or the things that you're buying in general. That's something that you realize quite quickly when you enter the working world. Well, that's something at least that I kind of noticed quite quickly when I entered the working world. Another person here on this subreddit makes a really good point that I wanted to flip and expound on in this following post here. Said as following, I'm not poor, but I'm not rich either. My best friend's a millionaire and basically does anything she wants. She bought a whole jet ski for me so I wouldn't have to take turns riding hers. And when she lost luggage on a trip, she just went out and bought everything that she had lost again. Brand new, high end. 
doesn't think twice about picking up the tab at a restaurant, remodeled her entire house so she can adopt all the animals that she wants and give them their own space. Her goddamn cats eat better food than I do. And I think there's nothing better in life than bumping into somebody in your journey through life who has a lot of money, but is also incredibly generous and incredibly kind. Because it shows you sometimes how the other side live and it kind of gives you an idea that sometimes money can buy happiness because a person who is able to go on vacation lose their luggage probably a Ramoa luggage which is really expensive or a samsonite very expensive but rebuy that luggage and also buy the contents of that luggage on the same day without buying an eyelid that's when you think oh shit money is kind of important that's when you think money is kind of important when you're down to like the last bit of money before one week of payday and you're having to fucking stretch it out for the entire week or you're living literally check to you know check to check week to week kind of thing you realize ah oh, man that le that extra bit of room that extra bit of leg room, that extra bit of comfort is so important and to me the the kind of the marker that i've used is something that i've heard rogan say in the past is definitely more so like the restaurant marker the idea of like okay when i go to a restaurant how nervous am i when i open the menu how worried am i when the bill comes at the end of it and those little things, those little things are something that you usually don't really think about when you are going through the whole like journey of having a cool job. You just think about having the cool job. You don't really think about like having a job that allows you, having a job that gives you a salary, that allows you a lifestyle where things are a little bit cheering and calm and you're not always like living on the breadline. Because a lot of my friends still who are trying to make it within the cool world are still doing that. And unfortunately, it's just the nature of the beast. Like I'd imagine in the cool world industry, fashion, design, art, music, I'm sure the cool jobs do exist where they pay well also, but they're at the top end. And most likely because of these cool jobs are jobs that everybody wants. No one's retiring. Nobody's dying because they're living well and no one's retiring because the jobs are fucking cool. So you're all fighting and scraping for jobs openings that don't exist. So then you have to scrape and fight for the tier below, but the tier below is way lower than the tier above. Because most likely you'd imagine the cool industries, the people who make the most money are in the top one to five percentile. Everybody else is just fighting for scraps. But in the wider world, outside of your little cool guy bubble, outside of my little cool guy and cool guy bubble, there's a whole world of occupations that you can do jobs that you can do that can make you money 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 but it takes time it takes experience it takes understanding to get there and to realize that's important because as look at what um triscuit mentioned in the chat triscuit mentions in the chat this what happens when you're living paycheck to paycheck and your car breaks down but that's what point i'm making my friend you don't realize how important money is until you start doing real adult shit. What's real adult shit? Buying a car, owning a house, even maybe just getting a dog or just starting a family. Suddenly you start to realize, oh shit, actually having a bit of extra money, actually having a bit of savings, actually having a bit of a nest egg is kind of important when real life shit strikes. When you're fucking, you know, when you flood your flat by accident, when the boiler breaks down, when something happens, when maybe, a, God forbid, a burglary happens or something, those things suddenly you're like, oh man, even a little thing like you forget your house keys inside your house and then suddenly you have to get someone in to break the door down for you, then repair the door, then get a new set of keys done. Like all of those things or get new lock, then get the door done. All those things are equal money. But usually those types of monies don't come from having cool jobs. They usually come from having a job you should come for having a job that pays well. I think nowadays, if anybody was to ask me, especially some of these younger kids and shit, if they were to ask me about, you know, things I could, you know, maybe advice to maybe impart on them. I think the most important thing, and I don't think you need to tell, I don't think you need to tell Gen Z kids this, because I think Gen Z kids are really good at, in that they don't really respect establishment. They don't really respect hierarchy, really. They don't really respect authority. And I love this younger kids because these kids, I was obsessed with working for Supreme. I was obsessed of working on a shop floor Supreme, eventually becoming somebody at Supreme at the office and then having that kind of cushy job forever. These new kids, these new kids, they want to make their own Supreme. 
They think their own little shitty brand that they do at home is better than Supreme. They think their friend's brand is better than Supreme. They're doing that sort of thing. They're willing to create their own little world. They're not really bothered about trying to pay their dues or work up a level. They're not going to intern for free. They're not going to work for peanuts. Like they want their just deserves right now. You know what I mean? They don't want to wait later. They want it right fucking now. And if not, they'll do it by themselves. And I think that mentality is good because that mentality will push you into a job to make money. Because to do those things, to launch a magazine, to open a studio, to fucking have a fruit stand somewhere in the fucking market, you need money. You need disposable cash. You need liquid cash. You need cash, money, moolah to do all those things and everything else in between. And it's super important. And it's something that you only realize only realize once you get a little bit older how important it is to have a job that has um i wouldn't even say job security but just allow you to make some money so you can move around and try new things and shit or get a car all these malarkeys are really really important another person here in the thread says earning 50k to 120k back to 50k again a lot of perspective lifestyle creep is real Financial stress never ends, and sometimes the most satisfying pleasure costs nothing. I count on Amazon Prime, most subscriptions, eating out, and I find I don't miss it a lot. Now, if I had that earning power again, I'd do things majorly different. It's nice to own expensive stuff, but the pleasure was fleeting. Of course, what this person's saying is true, but I think when you go from 50k to 120k per year, the thing that gives you the most, I think, pleasure is the ability to maybe, let's say, if I'm earning 50k, I'm only affording airbnbs to go on vacation when you got 120k you can afford to stay in the hotel at just a nice hotel right in the city center wherever you're going you can afford to maybe get a taxi from the airport to the hotel you can afford to have to to get in taxis the whole time you're there for vacation that's what kind of just makes it worth it makes the holiday a little bit more fun it makes all of it a little bit more relaxing as opposed to maybe taking public transport, as opposed to maybe taking a coach from the airport to your Airbnb location. Those are the small things I think are important. So it's less a thing about buying things. It's more so a thing about making life just easier. It's almost the same thing when it comes to like, you know, when, when I was earning a lot of money, I wasn't eating out every day. But if there came a chance where somebody wanted to meet up to go eat out, I didn't mind going. It wasn't a stress to go because I knew I had money in my bank. But I was still eating at home. I was still doing my weekly fucking groceries and shit. So I think that extra bit of money just gives you a little bit of leeway to do certain things. And as, as we said before, if, if more than likely you have like a housing emergency, which we all have, random things happen. I don't know. You break your bed. Uh, the, the, the couch in your living room fucks up. Something happens to your window. All these little things that happen, especially if you have a car or a motorbike or a bicycle, something just pop up all the time. And it's nice just to be able to have that money to just be able to fix those things immediately. You know what I mean? So it doesn't kind of disturb your normal, natural flow of your week and blah, 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 blah. blah. Those things are super, super, super important. And I'm glad, I'm glad that I'm now in that position to do so. Okay? I'm now glad I'm in that position to do so. I swear to God. I swear to God.